What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we know undefeated, three division world champion, two division undisputed world champion, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford is 40 wins, no loss and no draw, 31 big wins by way of knockout, 36 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. Terrence Bud Crawford is heading into a, an immediate rematch with his biggest rival and a rematch of his highly anticipated marquee matchup, undisputed welterweight showdown, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, where he took on now former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl The Truth Spence Jr., who is now 28 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm each. So they fought July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada. Terrence Crawford was the victor. Errol Spence had in his contract that he can immediately activate a rematch clause and Terrence Crawford will be contractually obligated to fulfill said rematch, which they are going to do. And it looks like it could be March, April, around that time. But with that said, um, the weight class that it takes place in, it looks like it's going to be in junior middleweight, 154. All signs are pointing to that. And so with that said, Terrence Crawford has already been stripped of his International Boxing Federation, IBF, better known as the IBF title, as he inherited uh, the mandatory of undefeated now IBF's welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, the phenom, as I call him, Jerron Boots Ennis who was Errol Spence's mandatory. And once Terrence Crawford beat Errol Spence, then uh, Jerron Boots Ennis became Terrence Crawford mandatory, but obviously Terrence Crawford has to fulfill the rematch clause. So uh, he cannot fight Jerron Boots Ennis. So they, Mr. Peoples, Mr. Daryl Peoples, they removed Terrence Crawford as the IBF champion and elevated Jerron Boots Ennis. Now the dominoes are all falling in place because now the WBC a uh, regular champion in Mexican superstar title contender, but is now, he was the WBA regular champion at junior welterweight. Now he's the WBC regular champion in welterweight. And that being none other than Azteca Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios is 28 wins, two losses, no draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. One time in his career, he was knocked out. Mario Barrios is going to be elevated to the WBC Super Champion, better known as the World Boxing Council, once Terrence Crawford is vacated. Because Terrence Crawford is going to vacate these titles. He has a close relationship with the WBC, so he's not going to be embarrassed by them. They're not going to strip him. They're going to allow him to go ahead and relinquish said title. And Terrence Crawford will be elevated to the W, excuse me, will be moving up to 154. Mario Barrios will be elevated to the WBC uh, welterweight champion. And in doing so, it looks like there's going to be a unification bout between Jerron Boutinis, who is 31 wins, no loss, no draw, 28 big wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. Mario Barrios is, is 6 feet tall with a 72 inch arm reach. It looks like they're going to face off against one another. These, these are three fights for those belts of Terrence Crawford that is more than likely going to be announced as his predecessor. They're going to precede him, okay? As he uh, exits stage left of rematch Errol Spence at 154, Terrence Crawford is not coming back down to 147. He's going to look for the biggest and best fights. He's 36 years of age. He's looking for the biggest, most marquee, lucrative fights possible. He's not coming back down to 47. So... Now, a unification between the IBF and WBC is going to be on the table for Mario Barrios and Jerron Boutinis. Then, for the WBA title, now you have Lithuanian star, welterweight, regular WBA champion, Amanis Stanionis, who has 14 wins, no losses, no draw, nine wins by way of knockout, 
Uh, he's the WBA regular champion. Well, guess what? He's going to face off against now former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Keith one-time Thurman, who has 30 wins, one loss, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 69 inch arm reach. They are going to fight. Keith Thurman is ranked number two in the WBA rankings. Amanda Stanionis is the regular champion who would be elevated. So now Keith Thurman and Amanda Stanionis are going to fight for the vacant WBA title, or they're going to elevate Stanionis and his mandatory would be Keith Thurman, right? So you're going to get Amanda Stanionis versus Keith Thurman. And then you have the WBO title. <clears throat> Why did I say that? Because the IBF and WBC, those are two of the four belts. They'll be in a unification bout with Mario Barrios and Jerome Boutinis. Stanionis for the WBA will be against Keith one time Thurman. And now you have the last belt, which is the WBO. Okay. Uh, the World Boxing o Organization title. And now it looks like Giovanni Santillon, uh, who shocked the world in his most recent fight. Uh, um, he is 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 17 wins by way of knockout. He's going to more than likely face off against uh, the WBO number two challenger in uh, Cody Crawley, who was undefeated, 22 wins, no loss, no draw, nine wins by way of knockout. Now, this is for the WBO vacant belt. Now, uh, uh, Santillon, he beat Alexis Roca, shockingly, okay? Uh, and that was a shocking upset. He won that fight. Uh, and nonetheless, uh, um, he's going to get his opportunity now, right, to become a world champion, right? And so uh, with that said, that fight is up in the air because uh, there's reports that, you know, Cody Crawley uh, uh, could possibly retire. Um, Cody Crawley, uh, he was supposed to fight Jerome Boots Ennis, but nobody knows uh, what's going on with Cody Crawley's career. Okay, so it's uncertain. So this fight is the one that's more uh, uh, uncertain of them all. Okay, Mario Barrios is looking forward to a fight with Boots. Boots is looking forward for a fight with um, Mario Barrios. Boots, father, trainer, manager, Bozzi Ennis already stated that that fight is happening. Okay, um, Cody Crowley, he beat Abel, uh, Abel Ramos back in March of this year. Uh, he won a majority decision, hard for a fight, 30 years of age, Canadian fighter, Southpaw. Um, but his career is up in the air. Okay, so we just don't know what we're going to get from uh, Cody Crawley, right? Now, that's the fight that's, you know, um, the most uncertain of them all. This is great news for Jerome Boutinis because this opens up a path for him to become undisputed in three fights. I favor Jerome Boutinis over every single one of these fighters. Now, uh, politics can prevent him from becoming undisputed. But he can become undisputed in 2025. I mean, by the end of 2024, the earliest, the latest early 2025, if all goes well. He fights and beats Mario Barrios, which I expect Jerome Boots Ennis to do. Uh, he'll be the unified WBC IBF world champion. Uh, it would only be right at that point in time for if you're Keith Thurman, because I favor Keith Thurman to be a main Stanionis. So Keith Thurman's beat Amanda Stanionis. Keith Thurman has a relationship with the WBC, right? Uh, Keith Thurman um, beats Amanda Stanionis. He held the WBC. Now you have a unification bout. More interesting than not is the fact that Keith Thurman lives by the old mantra that the three belts that make you undisputed is the WBC, WBA, and IBF. Well, if Jerome Boots Ennis beats Mario Barrios, he'll be the WBC IBF champion. If he beats Amanda Stanionis, guess what? He's the WBA champion. Once upon a time, the last undisputed welterweight champion before Terrence Crawford just did so, Zab Judah, and that's the belt he held. Now, the winner of that fight, Keith Thurman, Mario, uh, uh, Keith Thurman, Jerome Boots Ennis, our favorite Jerome Boots Ennis, now, Jerome Boutinis only has one fight left and would be the winner of uh, Santillon versus uh, Cody Crawley. 
I favor Cody Crowley to win that fight. That would be an easier fight to be made for Jerome Boutinis because uh, Santillon, I believe, is with top rank, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Cody Crawley is with the PBC. So Cody Crawley, and I favor Cody Crawley to win anyway. Cody Crawley wins the fight. Cody Crawley, uh, Jerome Boutinis for Undisputed is an easy fight to be made, easier fight to be made if he accepts it. And that solidifies Jerome Boutinis as the third four major sanction belt, or excuse me, the second four major sanction belt undisputed welterweight world champion history. And he could do that in under a calendar year. He could do that in 2024. If he was to fight uh, Mario Barrios in March or April, then he could fight Keith Thurman in the summer, and then he could fight Corley Crawley in the, in the winter, and well, the end of the fall, in December, November, December. He'll become undisputed. Then he could start making his way to 154, which will open up a path in that quick period of time. If he does so, and, er and Terrence Crawford beats Errol Spence, that opens up a path for Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. I mean, Terrence Crawford and Jerron Boutinis at 154. Makes for a big fight, doesn't it? A massive fight. The last two undisputed welterweight champions. Historic. That would, that would convince, and that would be the marquee fight and the big fight that would make Terrence Crawford intrigue to fight Jerron Boutinis as he's about to step away from the sport. So there goes your path. So that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.